we are going to the Rose Bowl, my friend. Oregon, getting it done, but good gracious, did did Anthony Brown try and give that game away late? Uh, I mean, just a fumble and, and two interceptions late for that offense. Uh, so Oregon's postgame win expectancy was 80%. And, and if you look at what ended up happening here, they they were up, what, 34-17 to 17 late yeah, in this ballgame? game, pretty big. And, and gave up two touchdowns late. UCLA was driving late. Now, luckily, Oregon gets the interception. I say luckily for Oregon, I guess, to try and save the game. But DTR went out with an injury. They brought in Garbers, the transfer in from Washington. And, you know, he, he looked okay for a minute. And then, man, that the DB just read his eyeballs, man. Read as soon easy. as ETR went out, I knew that they had no chance on that drive. Yeah, that game was over with. That guy, that guy is the most important player on that team. Yes, absolutely. He's special. He's really good. He had a good game in this one, and you know he had a turnover. It happens, but it, it's just you know he, he's a really good player, and when he's not there, that team can't win. Uh, Oregon, I think, may have felt a little bit disrespected here. They won yardage four seventeen to three fifty two. They won yards per play 6.6 to 3.9. But here's what's insane. UCLA ran 91 plays and Oregon only ran 63. The fact that Oregon outgained them by running 28 less plays was highly impressive. So it, it was nice to have Joe Moorhead back in the building doing his thing, right? It, it, this is two straight weeks, but this is the first one where he's really, really back in and knows what he's calling. They won third down percentages, 78% to 53%. I mean, Oregon was 7 out of 9. Just absurd. They they were great. Turnovers were even, but this is where Oregon comes out and feels like they are they are the better team, right? It it feels like they have been sleepwalking for weeks and weeks. But I will tell you this: this team, if they make if they continue to make mistakes, they can get got by anybody. But they are good enough to compete with anybody. And and I don't know which team is going to show up week in and week out. Who knows? But this one. You know, does this keep them in? Is is this a playoff team, Chris? Is Oregon no, a playoff team? No chance. No chance. No chance. I mean, they've still got Utah left on the schedule. Maybe they'll have to play. They've got Oregon State too. We'll talk about that. I was about here to say, you, you better hope your little brother don't get your ass. Uh, that's they're getting everybody. They they certainly are. Certainly are. I mean, it's. <laughs> I look at this game. This was a, this was a fun game to watch. The oh, die the running back at one point had like four straight carries that were touchdowns, which I thought was insane. Never seen that before in my life. And apparently it's like it's been done before, but I never I never had any idea. Nate jumps in on the chat. This channel sports takes are always awesome. Great job, guys. Appreciate that. Always nice to hear that. Flying Hawaiian said UTSA is good. And in the Flying Hawaiian also said Gundy covers as a dog. That's always good too. So yeah, you guys, there's a lot of people watching. Go ahead and like the video for us if you would and make sure that you are subscribed to the channel. Our goal right now is 5,000 subscribers. Uh, we were hoping to hit that by the end of the season, and and we are rapidly approaching that much, much quicker. So go ahead and subscribe for us, if you would, so kindly. Uh, anything you want to say about uh, about Oregon UCLA? No. No? I, I, did, I didn't think this game was very exciting. I predicted that. I, you know. Yeah, okay. I mean, that tends to... I, game day being there added a little more, but I, I will tell you something interesting. Did you see that they were doing ticket giveaways? like through the ESPN game day account, that should tell you everything you need to know about the hype out in Los Angeles. <laughs> but that's what UCLA was doing even for the LSU game. Yeah. Like they were yeah. giving away free tickets to everybody. It's, it, it, it takes a lot to stir up interest in uh, any program out in LA right now. Thanks for listening to the Winning Cures Everything podcast. The website is winningcureseverything.com, and if you want to connect with us, we're on Twitter, at GaryWCE, at ChrisBGiannini, at Winning Cures, or you can email us, Gary at winningcureseverything.com, or Chris at winningcureseverything.com. Subscribe everywhere you need to subscribe, and we'll see you soon.